So the good people at the Khan Academy have created this interactive computer science environment where you can write and modify code and, and see, you can see the results right away, right in this pane to the right. So what I've done here is I've, I've taken one of their existing sample programs that, that helps with exploring pendulums, and the link is right down here if you'd like to, to look at that a little bit, which actually we're going there now because I accidentally clicked on it. So anyway, here we are back, back at the approximations with pendulums, and what I've done here is I've taken that program and I've added a pendulum to it to illustrate the concept of approximations in physics. So when when we're looking at a certain problem in physics and we find we find that the math is just really hard or we don't quite know how to solve it, we can we can do something called taking an approximation. And and all that is 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 changing it a little bit so that it's much, much easier to deal with, but hopefully in a way that still gets us to the right answer, at least at least very close in, in most in in most situations. So here are our two pendulums and they they start out together and, and this this ladybug ship person is the is the approximation and the bumblebee rocket ship here is is the real pendulum and we can see that here the approximation is actually pretty far from reality. But if we if we start at a smaller angle and we watch it, it actually you know the, the approximation is pretty close to reality. So we've made a good approximation in this case, and they have the same period to this precision. And and I've written a few short paragraphs here on exactly what that approximation is in the case of a pendulum. And if you if you'd like to play around this with this a little bit, they the URL is right up here, and, and it's, it's based on exploring pendulums. And there are actually a lot of other sample programs that you can, can go and play around with and, and even write your own or make your own modifications to these programs and save them. So this is a pretty interesting thing they've done here. But, but anyway, I, as I do playlists on, on different physical concepts or different areas of physics, I'll I'll do my best to come up with some simulation that, that goes along with that topic so we can get as close as possible to a, a hands-on experience with these things.